Adam Strange game, obviously, how, how do you explain the fluctuation in effort, energy? Oh, it's a, yeah, Jekyll and Hyde type of game. Um, uh, the first quarter is the, the most disappointing part of today. The last quarter, um, game was up for grabs. I thought we spent a lot of energy getting back into the game. But the first quarter, we, you know, we knew what they were going to bring. And they're a very honest side, Carlton. It's contest driven, stoppage. Um, but we, we gave them four or five goals from turnovers. We probably got caught up in going a little bit too quick. But I thought they were, they were, they were brutal in the first quarter around the ball. And we overused it a tiny bit. Um, couldn't get settled. And then, you know, obviously we had what, two or three inside 50s. Um, and our backs held up reasonably well, to be honest. I don't know, what, what did they have, 24 inside 50s? So we took a deep breath. Um, and the second and third quarters, you know, really proud, like the way they responded. Um, there's some, you know, little wins we take out of those two quarters, in particular the second. But the third, the third was a was a really good battle. You know, we um, we felt like we had maybe not dominance, but we had plenty of opportunity, and we gave a couple of easy goals and a couple of plays that you got to, you know, tip your hat to. So going into the last quarter, uh, ten points down, you know, game up for grabs. Yeah, we were really disappointed how. We, just, just, we couldn't defend um, the Blues with what they were doing with the ball and then the contest and clearances took over. So that, that was really disappointing. But the, the first quarter was the, the part that, you know, we can't accept. We've got to get better than that. You got Logan Gaffin, a decent spray at, at quarter time. How, how did it flick so quickly, though, in the second quarter? Just obviously all like a different time. Well, you know, I think, I think our best is getting pretty good, you know. So I think... We're still missing a lot of personnel and um, we're still working through some of our younger players coming through and, um, you know, the confidence of our group as well. So, yeah, I don't think we underestimated Carlton, but they're, they're, they're a tough side. And if you let them dictate terms, you can get touched up. So we started again at, at quarter time, gave us a reality check. You know, we've been up for a little bit without much success. Like we'd, don't deserve to be overconfident with things, but we've been competitive for probably three or four games. And um, yeah, just disappointed at quarter time. Restart, um, the guys dug in and we responded, which is great. You know, really proud of the, the second quarter. And the third quarter, like I said, was, was that was just an arm wrestle, which that's footy. Um, you know, that's, that's where the game gets played. So yeah, not a bizarre game, but yeah, they were really good in patches and we were really poor in patches. How did you think the defence handled the two big boys and I guess 70? Yeah, well, they kicked 10 goals between them. 70 inside 50s against. I don't know, I feel like, you know, I'm not pointing the finger at Harry Edwards or, uh, or Bazo or Barras. I think um, when you get that much supply and your A-grade talent, you're probably going to kick a few. So. Yeah, I thought there was pretty good battles all day in our back half, but the, the, overwhelmed with supply. So, you know, it's hard to be critical, critical of our defenders. Um, when up the ground, there's a bit going on. Where did they break you then in that last quarter, Adam? Well, the, strange, the very first centre bounce, we get a good clearance. We get an opportunity to get a deep entry. We, I think we turned the ball over pretty shallow and then they controlled the ball, and which they did a fair bit in the last quarter. We couldn't get the ball off them. so. Whether that was energy, system, effort, we need to look at. But um, it was pretty systematic in the last. So um, yeah, that that was disappointing. Yeah, the last quarter was really disappointing. Like you know, we're, we're looking to consolidate where we're at and get these little wins. And it, yeah, that didn't happen. For Josh Kennedy to, to kick his 700th club goal tonight, that a, a special moment. Yeah, yeah. I look. Yeah, he's he's a champion. He's an out, out, outstanding man. So, yep, he gets everything he deserves. You know, he deserves everything he gets. So, yep, he's, he's been great for us. But we, you know, obviously we need to look at the future as well and, and what's, what's coming. So, Oscar Allen's been out for the whole year and we, we think he's going to be a pretty good acquisition for us next year. And uh, until that happens, um, JK's been more than adequate for us for a long period of time. Just on that quarter time spray, it's not often we see you that vocal can you talk us through the emotions that built up and what it felt like well yeah we don't want to get beaten by what you know so you know 
like I said, we really respect the brand that Carlton are playing because it's built around being tough and hard around the ball. Um, you know, they've got some talent, absolutely, but they've got a pretty, pretty honest way of playing. And we described that all week. So, yeah, that, that was the main... I can't remember what I said, <laughs> to be honest, but we, we didn't do a lot different in the second quarter. I think we might have equalised the game a little bit um, and let them get to work. So, yeah, we built momentum. We got some dominance, you know, front half footy. We just couldn't sustain it. And we saw Petrocelli subbed out. What was the issue and how bad is it? It's a minor, minor hamstring awareness. So we didn't want to take a risk. And you touched on looking towards the future when you're talking about Kennedy. And I know you don't have a lot sitting back in the, in the waffle, but is there a time this year when you start looking at giving those guys in the waffle a crack and see what they're like for a few weeks at the expense of picking your best team? Does that come about? No, we've been doing that, yeah. Um, we've, we've been hampered a little bit with availability. So, um, you know, I'll be honest, I, you know, exposing some younger players is, has been a priority, but being, being available to do that, you know, and the integrity of match committee and all that sort of stuff. And, and you know, you can't say Shannon Hearn doesn't do, deserve to play. So uh, he's been our best player um, today, I thought. So, yeah, getting that balance right. And what we're embarking on in the future is not, not going to re resolve itself today. So, you know, we get Bazo, uh, Harry Edwards, uh, Hoff, you know, Bailey Williams, you know, some of these younger players who 18, 19, um, some exposure to some footy, which is great. And then we start to transition as we go. And that's, unfortunately, we can't do it in one one or two rounds or even, you know, the back half of the year. So, but what, what we want to be is competitive and hard to play against. And um, today we were for two quarters. We probably expected Nick Nat to dominate a bit more today. Was he OK? Was he battling it? Yeah, a little bit sore. Yeah, yeah. Second game up, I mean, would be better for the run. So, yeah, I think we all would have seen Nick just labour a little bit early. Um, but his, his craft and the way he went about it, you know, after quarter time was, was pretty sharp. And then I thought the second game up, he's been out for six or seven weeks or longer um, before he played last week. So he'll be better for the run. Do you think he can back up for next week or will that sort of... Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, we're not going to risk him. But um, when Nick's up and about like he was in that second quarter, I think we all look, we, everyone rises a bit higher. But we, we can't rely on that. But, yeah, no doubt his, his best is great for us. And... Um, you know, I thought, you know, the the, the cutting was pretty good. Yeah, he, all day he must have had six or seven clearances. So the midfield group lowered their colours in the first and last quarters. Josh Kennedy, will you consider a rest for him for the trip again? That'll be up to Josh. Yeah, he knows his body better than anyone. So if he tells me he's right to go, we'll play him. Um, don't have a lot at waffle level at the moment to, to come up and expose. Young Jack Williams is 18 years old and still learning his craft. So. He's probably not quite ready just yet. We'd love to give him a go. Um, so we'll see what happens with, with JK. If he's, if he's available to play and he says he's right, then he'll, he'll play. And Jamie Cripps just went into ISO the last couple of Yeah, well, we missed Cripper today too. You know, obviously we're missing a few with Yo and Allen and Sheed and McGovern, these guys. But uh, Cripper's been in pretty good form for us. So, yeah, we, we had to do a few things differently. We found out yesterday or two days ago that he um, went into the protocols. So... Um, but that, that's footy, that happens across the board. So he'll, he'll get out too late then, I guess, for next week as well? No, nah, he might be right. It's two, day, two days ago, if we chuck him on a plane late, we'll, we'll do it. Um, you know, the, that's probably coming a little bit, the second wave. Um, obviously, see what's happening in Brisbane at the moment as well. So it does disrupt you a little bit, and it's not just that week, it's the, the following week as well. But you know, we'll do the right thing by him. But if he's available, he's playing, he's going to play.